The compressor uses a single phase motor. It has a start winding and a run winding, which are both connected to a common terminal. Attached is an overload protector that disconnects power if the current or temperature gets too high. Single phase motors use resistance or a capacitor to create a phase shift in the start winding. This rotating magnetic field creates the torque needed to start the motor. Many refrigerators use a relay with a PTC thermistor. This heat sensitive resistor acts like a switch. As the motor starts, the thermistor heats up and disconnects power to the start winding. This prevents it from overheating. Other models also use a run capacitor to help increase the efficiency. This run capacitor allows the start winding to stay energized as the motor runs. A current start relay works differently. When current flows through the coil, the magnetic field pulls a plunger and closes the circuit. The current drops shortly after startup, which releases the plunger and disconnects the start winding. For this relay, you'll need to do two continuity tests. First, test between the M terminal and the free terminal. There should be continuity. Now, test between the S and the free terminal. When the relay is facing down, there should be no continuity. When you flip it over, the contacts will close and there should be continuity. If it fails either test, then replace the relay. Now if you want a complete guide on how to test all the start components, then you can watch our compressor troubleshooting guide. The video is linked in the description below. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit an Amory location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.